need to come out and mop it up quick and hope that no one notices that she's gone put that in your inventory <laughs>
How do I clean him up? Clean himself up quick. Take a bath as well. Hopefully nobody will notice. Oh no, she needs the toilet. <laughs> um, how are we going to explain this? Can you hold on? How desperate is she? Oh, okay, that's fine. She's got two hours so that she can mop the floor and make some food ready. Let's make some mac and cheese. Everyone likes mac and cheese. Comfort food for her kids. I need to come out and mop it up quick. And hope that no one notices that she's gone. Put that in your inventory. Ah! I swear she just came up the stairs. Maybe she saw more than she was supposed to. Right, we need to get rid of the Grim Reaper. Can you please go? Get out. No, I asked you to leave, not to stay. Right, Ted Bundy needs to go to work. He's caused enough damage, right? He's going to repair the dollhouse before he goes. He's playing the loving stepfather. I feel like he's a fan of himself, which is a little bit weird. Hey, look, come dance with your brother. Ah, it's like he looks up to him. I decided to give him a few extra traits to make things easier. I mean, obviously he's got the serial killer trait, of course. And um, that comes with extreme violence. As soon as you kill someone, you get that. Um, but I've also made him beguiling so that it can he can hit it off with people quicker. Where did she go? Did she just stand me up? I've lost her. She gave me the slip. Damn it. I was, she was my next victim. I know where she lives. Ha 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 ha. I know exactly where you live. Yeah, we're going to get her. She's next on my list. I don't even know why because I've never really actually had anything to do with her before but I've just decided it's the end for this one. I'm pretty sure she's from Brindleton Bay. I'm pretty sure she has a cat. Oh wow. <laughs> That's a lot of cats. Oh but then if I kill her then the cats won't have a mum anymore. Also that one looks like a gangster. Oh. No, I can't do it. I, I can't be that cruel. That would just be too much. Plus also, if she died in her house, then the cats would probably eat her, and that's kind of gross. So, yeah, maybe we'll find a different victim. Yeah, I didn't know baby Ariel had decided to move into Strangerville. She won't be there for much longer. Well, she let me straight in. I'm not sure I would let a stranger into my home at this time of night, but... So yeah, he's going to take a picture of her and he's going to kill her, because, you know, why not? Excuse me? Okay, give me an autograph then. Well, that's rude. Let's slap her for being rude. <laughs> Let's ask her again. <laughs> Obviously, she's going to say no. I'm surprised she, you'd ring the police, wouldn't you? Be like, get this person out of here. Oh, look, she's like, help me. Help. She agreed. With her bruised face. Baby Ariel, you're a strange person. Right, let's, um, let's hack her info. And I don't even know what that does, to be honest. What else could we do? Let's steal her money. <laughs> She's got her food. Right at the end, even. What? No. How did she survive? Right, let's try again. Can't let her 
off the hook. She'll go to the police about you. Is she a witch? Okay, this is weird. Right, let's try a different death. Let's, um, surely she can't survive being chainsawed. What? Okay, so that was an epic fail. And it's daytime now, so I need to clean myself up. Clearly, being a TikTok star makes you invincible. <laughs> I guess, like, the devs probably did it because, um, and I didn't really think about it until a minute ago, actually, because obviously she represents a real person. So perhaps they made it so you can't kill her. And I kind of feel bad because I don't mind baby Ariel. She's okay. She's never done anything to me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to clean myself up and hope that she doesn't identify me in a lineup. And then I need to get the heck out of here. Right, let's see if we can at least have some success with the relationship, especially now he can beguile. What is she so, oh, of course, she's sad about the bear thing. I can't wait for her to age up. <laughs> you know, compared to what her half brother and sister are going through, I'm pretty sure her bear form is nothing. Well, there we go, they're in love, sort of. Well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, he can still go to work. We've, we've got time. Let's brighten her day. Offer her a rose. Make her feel special. Oh, how do I do that? Use the video station. That could be quite fun. Yeah, right, let's see if I can find a video station. We can get Javid promoting some products. Oh gosh, you can't do it in your... No, 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 no. Come on. Let's make you look at least a little bit presentable. He's not really got very good fashion sense, has he? We'll just wear that. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> oh my god, go to school. You're an A grade student. Get to school now. Quick. Let's just call it Beauty Review. I forgot the name of the company that he was supposed to be supporting. So what do I do? Oh dear. Maybe I can add some transitions, improve it a little bit. So let's have a look now. Fair. Maybe if I add some effects or can I edit the video? Maybe just editing it might help. So you don't want to overdo it because then it might just look really bad if it's got loads of transitions and loads of effects. So maybe just a simple bit of editing. Ooh. Noisy neighbours. What are they doing this time? Oh, you know, the usual. Just at it like rabbits. Hang on a minute. How? She's dead. Who's he got in there? Maybe they could get together. That would be unexpected, wouldn't it? considering the feuds they've all had. That could work. I mean, she knows he's single because, well, we assume he's single after everything that's happened. Right, let's see what I can do now. Good, yay. Well, oh, look, you can see the greens coming out behind here. We are getting there, slowly but surely baby steps let's see how these two are getting on he doesn't seem to be that bothered that he's interrupted her um, that she's interrupted him with whatever he was doing maybe he was just on his own <laughs> maybe give him some money that's not weird at all Well, that went down well. Give him some parenting tips as well. <laughs> so this is not a weird relationship at all. Let's compliment his appearance. Oh man, in front of all your kids as well. We need to get her to breeze through her homework. 
and you can do your homework and you can do your homework. I swear Sims are constantly tired. Like, do you just, I don't know. I mean, everyone gets a little bit tired, but seriously? Um, let's do some gadget reviews. He can talk about stuff he uses in his music. Oh man, he went. Oh well. Their relationship, oh no, there he is. Their relationship has improved a lot. Because they used to hate each other. And Ted's not here, so he doesn't need to know about what's going on. She can play the field a little bit. Wow, I was not expecting that to work. Let's embrace in our dance. Maybe they're like bonding over the death of their spouses. Perhaps that's what it is. And it's actually helping her reputation. Win-win situation. Ah, he's been promoted in his home. Which is not, <laughs> did you hear that? He went, uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. We better make sure that he doesn't come anywhere near upstairs. So he's in quite a good mood. File court documents, how do you do that? Maybe you have to do it on the computer. Let's have a look. Um, there you go. We can work on doing that for now. And there's people saying Sims 4 is too easy. I can never seem to have a household that functions normally. Everyone's just always depressed and tired. <laughs> oh, look at that toilet as well. We have a maid. Seriously, what does this maid even do? It's a good job she doesn't charge because I believe one of the traits is you get free house. I think it's a lot trait. Yeah, great view and service department. Well, I'm blue and well glad I don't have to pay for it because she's useless. No, I was. He was supposed to drink the coffee. Oh, poop. I didn't really actually do that much. Oh no. Need more. Need more music. Luckily, I've got a back stash. Um, so that one's normal, outstanding, normal. We'll do another normal one. Try and break out, you know, sort of break it up so they don't expect too much or too little. Is that who I think it is? It sure is. How did he die then? Or is he just sad? I'm almost, I mean, I'm assuming he died of old, old age. Just gonna talk to my dead husband. You know, even though she's already moved on to a new one soon, because they're not married yet, but I'm sure she's working on it. But yeah, she's moved on to a new man and she's also having a fling with the guy next door, so that's happening. I'm gonna be so annoyed if he breaks anything again. All right, Ted's bored as well. We all know what Ted gets up to when he's bored, so let's make him oh I know he could start social networking um socializing that's what I wanted him to do did I just click that right no we don't want to open notebook we want to socialize <laughs> troll the forums no let's chat with none of them because they don't look like his usual type of victim we will find a pen pal yes that's what we'll do and then we'll make friends with them and then we'll go kill them seems like a reasonable thing to do it's all right it always reminds me of that story of that german there was like a german guy or something that was a cannibal and he had he invited people to come be eaten by him or something i think that's why i've just never had a pen pal because i'm just scared it's going to be some cannibal or something <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. Um, she's in a very good mood. I don't know how I managed that. I've sort of turned it around. And hopefully he'll be in a good mood. Maybe we can watch a film together. Let's watch Sims of the Dead. Give her a hint of things to come. He's still in the bath. Come on, Ted. She's watching the film all by herself. 
don't quite know why she's standing up though. No, don't nap. Sit. I get a bit trigger happy sometimes with the mouse and click it too fast. Can ghosts eat? No, you're dead. What's she supposed to do? Not move on? I mean, she could probably pick someone better, but we can't expect her to be unhappy forever. I mean, she definitely could pick someone better. I don't want a friggin' serial killer for a boyfriend. It's actually kind of creepy. Um, should I make him work? Oh, especially that. That's super creepy. No, he can go to work, actually. I don't think I can watch this for much longer. I'm starting to worry about myself. For who before he goes to work. She's going to be busy today because she's going to woohoo with the neighbour as well. <laughs> and then there's just the two kids sitting there innocently. <laughs> Model mother. Oh, creepy. Jared, I've been building a shrine to you. If you could send me a lock of your hair. <laughs> yeah, that is creepy. That's not nice. Right, he needs to take his medicine because he keeps getting headaches. So let's, um, hopefully that will get rid of them. Oh, we need to get mum to uh, come see her other boyfriend. Give him an apartment key so he can come and go. Mortimer Goff has an unhealthy fixation with his ex. What a way. Oh look, it's the useless maid. Right, let's... Get him in the mood. Oh, in her son's bed. Gross. Seriously. Some people are just despicable. So everything's going nicely and everyone's happy, so why not ruin everything? Hopefully she'll accept. Yep, she did. Silly girl. And let's go one step further and propose. Uh-oh. I feel like now that they're sort of engaged, he's only got one more step until they're married and then he can just turn into a horrible pig because then he's got what he wants. But obviously that's assuming he doesn't find out about the whole thing going on next door. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there because I feel like this is a good place to stop because obviously next episode we're going to have a weird wedding. But at the moment we've got Jared in his pyjamas doing a cheerful vlog. We've got Bear Girl, Ava, um, trying to get more scout badges. And the twins are upstairs playing really nicely. And nobody has any idea that this monster is in their house. So yeah, I'll see you next time guys. I hope you enjoyed.